Hi, so it's still May and uh, that means it's still Yes You May month. And uh, in Sketchbook School uh, this month we'd, uh, we'd really like to encourage you to grant yourself permission to make art, to be creative, to do whatever you love. Um, and today Michael Knobs will be giving us a pep talk. And um, hopefully he can give us a little bit of advice and he'll give us permission to go and make art. Now, Michael Knobs is an artist and he lives in Wales and um, he has kind of a gentle way to do little things every day and those build up to bigger things. So uh, let's introduce him now onto the screen. Uh, Michael, welcome. Hi. Hi, Kosher. It's lovely to see you again. It is really good to see you. So, um, have you ever given yourself, did you give yourself permission to be creative? I did. I think I did it quite late in life, actually. And I did it because I wasn't well. Um, well, I was thinking, I was thinking about this. And I used to, when I was at school, the, my friends that studied art used to carry their sketchbooks around with them. And I was so jealous of these sketchbooks. I wanted a sketchbook. But for some reason, I couldn't let myself have a sketchbook. And it wasn't until I was my early 30s and I had to give up work because I wasn't well that I bought my first sketchbook and suddenly I was allowed to do what I liked in it. And I'm not saying it was easy to begin with. It wasn't. I mean, I find it quite difficult. But just having a sketchbook was so exciting. So that was kind of my first step, I think, to giving myself, giving myself permission. Okay, yeah. And um, I bet you have, like, because you coach people on their creative path and I bet there's... There's a lot of people who who struggle with um, granting them themselves the time in the day to do art, or even um, not feeling guilty about it, because that's something that occurs to a lot of people. And um, can you talk a little bit about that? I think, I mean, from my perspective, because I have a limited amount of energy, I've learned that it's really important to decide what what you what I think is important, and then to focus on it. And I think often for a lot of people, they're so busy. They probably don't have that kind of perspective. So I try and give them that perspective to pick something that's important and to do it. And I suppose my trusty, which I'm sure lots of people see, my trusty, my trusty time, I set my time over 20 minutes and I do something. I mean, some days I only set it once. And I, I mean, I just encourage other people to get a timer because whether you're busy or not, you can carve out 20 minutes. And if it feels uncomfortable or not, you can carve out 20 minutes and always or almost always when I've done that I feel better and most people I talk to feel much better feel quite excited that one 20 minutes isn't usually enough and it, it can I mean it, it's an easy habit to build so I think get a timer and it'll definitely help you give yourself permission to do things that's really great um, because that really makes you aware of the time that you use and also 20 minutes everybody can carve out 20 minutes right well you can i mean it's, I, people are resistant some people are resistant but i think once you've done it you start to realize you can do it so i think yeah i mean I, what it works for me it's worked for me for a very very long time and I, i've seen it work for other people so if you are finding it difficult you know, wind up the timer and get one that ticks it's always good to hear time ticking by it kind of i'm not I, i'm not wild about putting ourselves under pressure but perhaps a little bit of realistic pressure is a good thing to make you kind of realize that there's only so much time and you've got to use it for what you want to do. And um, why 20 minutes? Why not 10 or 15 or 30 minutes? Uh, well, just for me, 20 minutes was about the right amount of time to to actually achieve something. I mean, I do tell, I mean, some people I work with are very ill indeed. And I would suggest, you know, just setting a time for five minutes and taking a tiny step. I think that's fine. And a lot of people would like to do more. I mean, I think 20 minutes is a good amount of time to do, to actually achieve something. So when I first started, I could make a drawing in 20 minutes or I could write something in 20 minutes. And then those things came together to be a page in a book perhaps. And slowly over time, the book got made. So it's just, it's just, it's just the right sort of time. It's, yeah, well, for me, I can get to it even on my worst days. I can 20 minutes, I can do even on my worst days. So that's really that's great. great. Yeah, that's really great. And I think it's a good amount also for a sketchbook, you know, a sk a sketchbook pages. Yeah. Um, if you do uh, a page every day, it fills up and then suddenly you'll have a whole book that tells about your life, you know. And 20 minutes is a pretty good chunk of time. Yeah, I think so. 
All right. I think this is really a great uh, piece of advice. Um, do you have any other ideas about giving ourselves permission? Any other ways to do that? Well, I do. I do like having a treat waiting for me at the end, as you know. <laughs> <laughs> so it's you know maybe a slice of cake waiting for you. So, so I suppose yeah the, the timer is a little bit of pressure, but a piece of cake I actually perhaps you know perhaps something less sugary as well sometimes is kind of that little little carrot as well. So it's nice to have it's nice to have that too. Uh, I think it's yeah. So time will be ticking towards that little treat. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Huh. You know, well, make night life as comfortable and as pleasant as you can, and if you do that, well, it gets easier to. To do to do stuff. I mean, I think I think whilst it's wonderful to make drawings and to make art, I think it can be difficult. I mean, it can bring up a lot of stuff. It's not necessarily always just wonderful. So we that's why we're doing it as well. So you know, find ways to make it as easy for yourself as possible to do the things you want to do. Great. And um, well, I love what I see behind you. I mean, I see. Um, uh, the the words take tiny adventures with it, which I love, and also take small steps. And I think that is really the the yeah. key here. Yeah, to just yeah, take it in in small chunks, and it will build up into something larger. Absolutely. All right, great. Well, thank you so much for this little pep talk. You're welcome. I hope your day will go uh, well, and your twenty minutes will be creative. I hope to see <laughs> you soon you. again. Thank you. Take care, Kosha. It's lovely to talk to you. Thanks. Bye.